From bipartisan spending helping Western Kentucky to inflation crippling the nation, Kentucky Senator and Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell spent the day in Henderson County discussing a wide array of topics. Eyewitness News Cody Bailey was there and has more on the Senator's visit. Infrastructure and economic impacts were the topic of discussion for Senator Mitch McConnell during the stop at Henderson City County Airport. There, McConnell praised bipartisanship on the infrastructure bill that will provide aid to the airport. From very large projects to smaller projects like this, we're going to fully address the nation's crumbling infrastructure. The smaller project is a $259,000 improvement of the terminal's roofing, something airport manager Alan Bennett says has been needed for a long time. We have a, a, a failing roof system on our terminal. Uh, we're about 20 years old with the building. Right now we've got failing shingles, we've got patches. We won't have those problems anymore. It, it's a solved problem. McConnell also discussed recovery efforts following deadly flooding in eastern Kentucky after recently expressing disappointment with FEMA's efforts. I think FEMA's performance in the east and the flood counties has not done as good as I had hoped. In their defense, it is difficult to communicate with people who live in very remote areas. But Senator McConnell's second stop, the Henderson Chamber of Commerce luncheon, took a more political turn. The rest of what they've done, particularly to our own country, has been a gargantuan mistake. Senator McConnell blamed high inflation on the Biden administration and criticized the proposal to forgive student loan debt. But when it came to the recent response from the Department of Justice regarding the FBI search at former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort, Senator McConnell remained tight-lipped. I don't know if you had a chance to, to review or anything from this morning, uh, the DOJ's report. Or, uh, no, I don't have any observations about that. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Reporting in Henderson County, Cody Bailey, Eyewitness News.